Hey everybody, it's me, Sally, Stormy Spirit. Um, I'm making this video because it's for suicide prevention. Um, I've never done a video about suicide. Um, I know now two people, three people, sorry, three people in my life that have committed suicide. Okay, so yeah, suicide doesn't um, end the pain. It actually passes it along to someone else, the loved ones who are still here wondering why, you know. Um, but see, the thing why I'm making this video is because uh, pain isn't a competition and there are no winners whenever it comes to suffering. We're all in this together. Um, everyone's life matters. If you don't share the emotions that you're having on the inside and your thoughts in your head, um, those who want to help you and who are, are, you know, out in the world willing to help you will not know to help you, you know, so you have to speak out and ask for help when you're having those kinds of thoughts. Now, there are going to be people who turn you away and there are going to be people who don't show signs that they care until after you're gone. And then when you're gone, they're down here acting like, you know, they were with you the whole time. That happens. They Like, it's, it's a part of the sickness of being human. Um, here are some of the warning signs, though. Uh, distress, changes in your mood, you know, the daily activities, um, them isolating themselves. Uh, if they're in school, they're failing in school, they're not sociable, they're quiet, and they're they're showing lots of signs of like standoffishness or or um they're non realistic like behaviors. I don't know how else to say that. Ask them what's wrong, you know, and genuinely try and help if you are one of those people. If you don't reach out for help, you are left falling alone. So there are people out here that care like me. And even if I don't know you, um, send me a paragraph message and tell me what's wrong and I will um Gladly try and share my opinion and advice with you. Please don't try and hack me. I'm not a rich mama. Um, just me, Sally, Stormy Spirit. I just did this uh, word thing with my cousin. It's considered uh, whenever you take a word and make words out of it. I'm doing this because I want to uh, share with you what I think would be helpful and to prevent someone from uh, committing suicide. If you wanna, If you want to help somebody and you're not sure how to, Try and think of these things, and when you do, incorporate into helping them. Um, serenity, okay? Strength, and then togetherness. Um, you can thrive on the, t the togetherness. Be open-minded. Be very, very, very open-minded. Um, sometimes it's overwhelming, but be open-minded. Uh, so be realistic. You have to be real and honest. So you can get help or you can give the help. Um, mindfulness. I actually had to look up the meaning to mindfulness. And it's about being very aware of everything, the situation at hand. Do not take uh, anyone's feelings for granted. And if you're giving somebody your feelings, don't sugarcoat them or don't over-exaggerate them. Make sure you detail them the way that they're coming and going. Um, you matter. Everyone matters. So, yeah, stormy. Serenity, togetherness, open-minded, realistic, mindfulness, you matter. The word suicide, it caught your attention, didn't it? Truth is, is the word suicide catches everyone's attention. Um, it's the actions, though, that lead up to it that are unnoticed. If I tell you today that I hate life, could you imagine all the thoughts that are running through my head when I said that? Um, if I tell you tomorrow that I love life, could you imagine all the thoughts that are running through my head? The reason why I say that right there is because people will literally say those things out loud consistently on a daily. And others will be like, oh, that's just them. That's just what they do. Try and put yourself in that person's shoes before you go judging on why they walk around saying those things. So, yeah, the warning signs are there. You just have to pay attention. I'm coming with this video because today makes one year. My nephew is in heaven now. Um, I didn't get to be a big part of my nephew. I wish I could change things. 
but I can't change the past and I will not hold grudges at anyone for the past. I'm just upset with how it played out. So what I can do though is, you know, try and help ease the pain. Because I, as I help others, you know, and I say these things to others and I'm learning all these things I'm giving y'all. So here are some words though that relate to suicide. When one soul feels depression, they um, pick up drugs sometimes or alcohol. Like there's lots of despair going on in their life. Um, if death comes around, they lose loved ones, you know. The guilt that they have, the shame, that you know, the loneliness. They're, they're in a crisis, you know. It's all dangerous, so danger is a big one. Sadness, abuse, uh, it's a poison, you know, mental poison. It's a mental illness when you think of suicide. They're suffering of some type of sadness, you know. Uh, medicines can do that as well. Feel trapped, frustration. Sometimes people were in denial of who they are and what's really going on. Like if they cause like drama or if they're being, you know, three or four different personalities in one day, you know, that's kind of like denial of who they truly are. Um, grief is all of that, you know. So yeah, anxiety that's that's one that you know gets a lot of people a lot of people a lot of people have anxiety they don't even know it they're born into punishing their, themselves and thinking they have you know to worry you're thinking that they have to stress there are human beings out here that stress on a daily and have nothing to stress for but they're so stressed out but they have no reasons to be stressed out because you can't change the past you can only change you know what you're doing right here right now rejection if people are rejected um, at a job, in a relationship, financial hardships, they're not getting good friends in their lives and they keep being like rejected with being loyal, things like that. All of these things that I'm like, the emptiness, fear, quitting, loss, there's a hopelessness. Um, it's a psychological and like mental illness, you know, suicide awareness, everyone. So... That's why I'm making this video. Um, also, I I, um, I just wrote a few things down about it. I, I didn't actually have like a script plan for it or anything like that. Um, I just want everyone to be aware of like, it is real. We need to come together and share our humanness. We need to share, we need to share that spiritual gift that we're given being humans and uh, quit, quit thinking that it's okay to make fun of somebody. You need to come together and quit thinking that our pain exceeds everyone else's pain. We need to share our pains together. We need to sit down, reminisce, talk about it. Speak out. The more you speak out, the easier it is to help or get help. Um, it's very very hard uh, I promised myself I wouldn't cry in this video so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to call that the end of this video but uh yeah if you need ever anybody to talk to reach out there is help out there and if you want to start helping people may just make sure you remember to remain humble I'm a true firm believer that all the pain that I've went through all the the bad times in my life that I thought I can never get out of there like, like nothing was going to change. And here I am now, you know. So just remember everything changes on a daily. We can change the way we're thinking. Then we can change the outcome. We need to be more positive, less negative. Misery loves company. I remember hearing that growing up a lot. And actually paid attention to it. And those words mean a lot. So... As a stormy spirit, I hope to help anybody I can with sharing this, spread this message, suicide awareness, please. So yeah, have a safe and blessed rest of the year. Um, happy holidays from me and mine to yours. Bye.